uh, who, who wants to go first on this one? Let's go, Phantom. We'll go to you first. Okay. We'll go to you first. I want your boldest, bold prediction. You have one minute on the clock to tell me what it is and convince me why it's going to happen. Go ahead. San Diego State will be playing in a regional final in like college it. basketball this upcoming season. That's my boldest of bold take. Look, the Aztecs, Aztecs bring back seven of their top eight scorers from last year. I'm a huge Matt Bradley guy. He is a bucket getter for this team. They defend at an extremely high level. One of the most underknown defensive teams in college basketball. They're just, they fly under the radar, but they are physical with you. They play like a power conference team. Nathan Mensa provides length for this team. Lamont Butler is big time. They brought in some newcomers. Darian Trammell from Seattle, a high level scorer that they bring in in the process. This team lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament last year. I think that that's going to fuel them. They have been the consistent program in the Mountain West, nine on the last 12 NCAA tournaments. You think about all they bring back, the fact that they have that centerpiece scorer in Matt Bradley, they defend the hell out of you. The Aztecs, the San Diego State Aztecs, are going to have a terrific year. All right, T.O., one minute on the clock. Give me your boldest, bold prediction. I think the Big East has three teams playing in the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. I think the league is that good this year. Uh, they're adding a lot of transfers. They're recruiting again at a really high level. The excitement is back in the Big East. I love the way uh, how these teams compete, their toughness, the energy with Madison Square Garden. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. It was awesome. It was such a fun week. And then um, Indiana. Call your, call your shot on the three teams. Do it now. Call your shot on the three teams. I got to look at them, but I really just like the league as a whole. So I like UConn. Yeah. I like um, Creighton. And give me Seton Hall. Wow. No Providence. No Providence. No Providence. I love it. T.O. I would have gone UConn Xavier, guy, baby. T.O. is a UConn guy. Let's go. I like Xavier. I like the Xavier call. I, I like the Xavier, Xavier call. But Seton like Hall is an interesting call, call there, T.O. Look they at the are. guys. They fit, and they're tough. Every one of those dudes are tough as shit. Remember Kenny and, Smith said something like, they're, uh, St. Peter's have, has all these guys that are just a bunch of tough dudes that are really good at the park. I'm telling you. I'll, it's that on steroids now. I'll die on this hill. I think Sheen Holloway is going to take Seton Hall to a Final Four before it's said and done. And to the people who say he, he doesn't want to be the though. coach there um, or, or that he won't be there long term, that is home for him. He could be Seton Hall's Ed Cooley. Yeah. And uh, speaking of Ed Cooley, I, I made a joke about Providence there, but I do think that Providence is going to end up being uh, really uh, fucking good. Yeah, re yeah, really good. In and around the top 25, um, I think it's going to take them a little while to get there. They're, they're kind of banged up um, right now, and they got a lot of new pieces coming in. But I do think that they're going to find a way to, to be back in the tournament at minimum, probably yeah. in and around the top 25 for most of the year. They're going to be really good. Uh, all mm -hmm. right, my last one, my boldest bold take. I'm going to the Big Ten. And I'm going to say that there's going to be a Big Ten team making the Final Four this year. And no, it is not going to be the Indiana Hoosiers. Oh. I, th I think that the Big Ten team that's going to make the Final Four this year is going to be Illinois, the Fighting Illini. Here's what's going to happen with them, right? They are oh. going, to, they're going to win some big games during the season, right? They're going to lose some horrible games. They're going to enter the NCAA tournament sitting like 19 and 11, right? They're going to be a seven seed. They're going to be a seventh seed entering the NCAA tournament, finishing third in the Big Ten, <laughs> right? And then what they're going to do is they're going to catch fire, and we're going to see the real Terrence Shannon come out, and we're going to see the real Matthew Meyer come out, and Coleman Hawkins playing small ball five is going to explode on the NCAA tournament. R.J. Melendez is going to be one of the breakout stars in college basketball this, year, this season. Sky Clark is going to hit his ceiling when it comes to March, and they are going to be playing in Houston at the Final Four. A lot of offensive versatility on that Illinois team. A lot of go that. bold. Here's what you do, T.O. You go bold or you go home. And John Fanta has gone home. This has been the DTF Podcast. We'll see you guys again next week. <laughs> He's back. There he is. Wearing his board shorts, Fanta. 